roosters and brudettes, welcome back to part two of my Prairie Artisan Ale birthday gift review. As you know, last episode we, we reviewed the, uh, the Prairie Bible Belt. It was an imperial stout with uh, coffee, uh, cocoa nibs, vanilla, and chili, and it was a great stout. Now this other one, uh, my good buddy Dave got me, uh, Ira, is almost on a totally another, another plane. It is a farmhouse ale, so it's going to be almost the opposite. Very light, very crisp, very um, effervescent. So let's go ahead and uh, go in for a closer look. Oh, come on, I'm not a kid. I can do more than that. Okay, that's good. That's good. Stop. 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 Ah, oh, shit. Now, like I said, it is a Bira. It is a farmhouse hail. This is not a collaboration. Uh, this is all just Prairie Artisan um, on their own. This one looks. Oh yeah, totally different. Very light. Some light head. Very effervescent with the way the bubbles cling. Um, not clear but hazy. So I know we're probably gonna get a uh, more of a uh, um, not sharp but like a. Uh, a very fizzy, crisp taste. Let's go ahead and take a quick sniff. It's got that um, very earthy, earthy smell. Let's take a quick look here on uh, Beer Advocate. Uh, Beer Advocate actually gives this one a 85, which, uh, which is still good, but it's not nearly as high as the, uh, the Bible Belt we had last episode. Now the best part, the taste. Very good. Spot on for a farmhouse. I personally would give this at least a 90 if I was rating it. Um, it is dry, uh, crisp, and like I said in the smell, the taste is also very earthy, very natural. It doesn't seem like it has actual flavoring added. It seems like everything comes through naturally. I mean, it's very, um, a very full, uh, no BS beer. It is a little effervescent, not as much as I thought it was going to be. Um, as you can see, it, uh, it still has quite a bit, um, an upstream of, uh, bubbling but not enough to really cling up here. It has a very good, um, I guess a solid taste. It's not too fizzy. Like I said, it's also very crisp. So it's a very refreshing, uh, something you definitely want to have like out on a patio or something. I mean, it's, I mean, it's a farmhouse ale. It's something you want to drink during the summer. It's we did have a lot of farmhouse and sours when we were down in Austin at uh, Jester King. As you know, it is in a farm, pretty much. So they specialize in farmhouse and sours and saisons. So it's more reminiscent to what we had uh, last weekend during the uh, the festivities. So it's kind of kind of taken me back a little... This one has been great. I really do like it. I'm going to have to try to find this one. This one is a year-round one. It's not limited at all like the uh, the Bible Belt was. So you can find this one. And I highly recommend um, you pick it up. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Twitter. And of course, subscribe to the channel. We're going to try to bring more episodes to you. I mean, we've... We took a while, but I'll, we really want to try to bring you some more content. 
uh, go ahead and check some of my beers in. Check them out. See if you like them. See if you don't like them. On Untapped. I'm at Nick Caterham. Of course, you know my, my buddy Eric. He's at Badfish13. And once again, let's... Uh, I'm going to go and throw Dave under the bus here. Check him out. Let him know what you think of uh, his beers at Just Orangish. Those are all of our untaps. Um, I'm going to finish this, edit some videos, enjoy myself. Cheers, YouTube.